Who's the most important socializer in Greece? It's mom. Okay? That woman right there is way more important than any crony with a billion dollars or a billion euros. If we can take care of her, then we've changed the world. And you know why? Because she is the world. Because that is the earth. That's why we're doing green business, is because of this person right here. A couple questions, got 10 questions that big businesses should ask themselves. But the reason they should ask themselves these questions is because we want to take care of her. The most important statement by a Greek that I've heard lately was by Peter Economides. Peter Economides took care of your Olympics and lots of other cool things. He said, quote, you know, I studied economics, but I've learned that social psychology is far more important. If people feel great about themselves, then they will do great things. And if a nation feels great about themselves, they will do great things. And I'm telling you that this country is the cornerstone of Western civilization. And if any country has what it takes to change the world, it's Greece. Greece has everything it needs. You have everything you need. You have the most advanced business intelligence people in the world right here in this campus. So let's ask some questions. What are some questions we want to ask ourselves as enterprise level business? Keeping in mind the reason we're asking these questions is because we want to help people. Because social media is customer centric. A hundred percent customer centric. It's not product centric. Give me a chief customer officer. COOs, please learn to be a chief collaboration officer. Okay? So let's let's start this first question here. Can your company adjust budgets of your integrated social strategy based on data and not gut feel? Open question. I'm gonna go through some questions, 10 questions, and then I'm gonna go into some solutions for the questions, okay? If a product crisis has emerged on YouTube on a Friday evening, before a three-day weekend, can you sleep peacefully? Can you disable your corporate registration page and use social logins instead without fear of reduction of leads? Do the voices of the consumers, real-world friends, emerge above that of the brand right on the corporate website? Are most leads coming in through existing customers and not your sales team? Are a majority of customer support issues resolved by the community faster with greater satisfaction than your dedicated support team? Are sales and marketing getting leads before the consideration phase? And has the support team reduced inbound calls by triggering the community to resolve a potential issue before it's escalated? We all know about CRM, and of course many of you know about SCRM. And you know about taking traditional data and traditional information and then getting social information out of it. Are you experiencing a faster time to market on products because consumers have dictated the specifications? And can you claim to hold less inventory because the products are built on spec? Are you using social data to adjust your supply chain in real time based on customer signals from check-ins, tweets, and plan casts? Finally, do you have a real-time dashboard measuring the health of all social channels, revenues, customer service satisfaction, sentiment, and overall program costs? By the way, these questions are from an excellent blog post by Jeremiah Aoyang of Altimeter Group in Silicon Valley. Jeremiah Aoyang and Charlene Lee are probably some of the best people on the planet. Recommend the book Open Leadership. Excellent book. Okay, so let's, let's get into... Um, an area that I really like, which is business intelligence. One of the companies that I work with is People Browser. This is an example of a tool maybe some of you have seen, where we can search for the 1% that's gold, analyze the results we get, connect to the community we find, and lead the conversations you see right now. Right now is a huge deal. And we've got about nine different tools that we hover over that database with and just pull out information. Another cool thing about Researchly, one of our tools is that a community manager can sit in front of a, of a window like this and watch real time all sorts of information coming up. A community manager really has got to be on top of what's going on, needs to be able to foment the, the flames of something good and uh, transform what is difficult. The CEO of the future is at the forefront with the customer tweeting, blogging, and texting. He is up front. Please read this book, Open Leadership How, how Social Technology Can Transform the Way You Lead. Charlene wrote Groundswell, 
um, she's the one that said that social media will be like air. The realist optimist is the most powerful and effective of the open leader archetypes, somebody who can see the benefits of being open, but also understand the barriers. The realist optimist is someone who knows how to be grounded with making good decisions and having good tech, and is also shooting for like something that is so crazily out there and impossible that they're gonna use what the tech is to get there. And we do have the tech to get there, by the way. Tony Siak, another great example of a realist optimist. But look, I mean, look at these posts, okay? Is delivering what happened is possible on Wall Street? He's talking about his book, okay, and his philosophy. Then he says, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough, Albert Einstein. And then he gets personal and says, at fancy Italian restaurant right now, a friend offered me really delicious polenta. I thought she said placenta, awkwardness ensued. So, I mean, kind of cool, you know, he's mixing personal stuff with professional stuff, and he's being real. Social networks and social marketing about being real. There are ways in which we talk about transparency that are challenging, and there are ways in which we talk about it that are inspiring, but honestly, you know what transparency leads to? It leads to mystery. That's what it leads to, and that's why transparency is so important. Transparency is leading us away from this environment to these environments. That's the benefit of transparency, is it foments innovation. Okay, how about PR? This is the social media triage, as we call it, for the US Army blog. This is the ultimate distillation of dealing with a PR issue. So once again, if you're inside of an enterprise who's saying, should we really get into social networks, what this enterprise ought to be doing is scripting a journey related to issues, okay? Let's say a message comes in. Let's say it's negative. We're gonna evaluate the purpose. Is it an unhappy customer? Yes, it is. Are the facts correct? Yes, they are. Let's take reasonable action to fix the issue and let the customer know action is taken. What if it's positive? Do you wanna respond? Most of the time, no, because that's a cool thing, and other people respond for you. But could you add value? Sure I could, okay? Respond in kind and share. So, and there's other ways that we can deal with issues here. Um, is the person a comedian wannabe? Let's let it stand and watch what happens to it. Let's see if the community shoots it down, because oftentimes the community does it. I made a comment in a uh, JWT publication last, last year. In Greek culture, a pare is a group of friends who gather together to share about life, philosophy, values, ideas. It's a venue for the growth of the human spirit, where friendship is about people exploring each other. It's a long-lasting circle. There are existing pareas out there. Those pareas may be sponsored. Those pareas may be accessed. What you want to see in the world? We are a generation, people that are interested in tech and social and these kind of things that is changing the world. It's really evident, it's in the news everywhere. And the world needs more of us. So honestly, like if someone says to you about social, this is the way it has to be or needs to be, no. No, it's not. Because there's more than one way to be a human. And because social networks are undomesticated environments. They are wild environments, okay? It's not the Wild West. The Wild West is actually more fundamentalist. It's like outer space. So your planet already exists. Are you on it? A lot of the stuff I blog about and write about is how a personal individual can get out there and create something of their own right now, fund it, and get going. In 30 days through Kickstarter, I can get a million dollars, if something's good enough, <laughs> and fund myself to do something, okay? Small zodiac graphs full of experts, are much more efficient than large cruise ships. But large cruise ships love small zodiac rafts full of experts and employ them all the time. If you're in social media, think of yourself as a Navy SEAL team, as a Green Beret team, as a team that can help that big entity get something done. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much.